Hi, in this video we will see how do we determine whether a given number is a perfect cube number or not. And how do we determine that? We determine by prime factorizing that given number. So let us try to do an example. Is 15,625 a perfect cube number? Let us see that. So we'll start by prime factorizing 1, 5, 6, 2, 5. The number ends with a 5 and hence it is divisible by 5. So let's start with 5. 5 3s are, 5 1s are, 5 2s are and 5 5s are. Then 5, 625s are, 5, 125s are, 5, 25s are, 5, 5s are and 5, 1s are. We will write 15,625 as the product of the prime factors. 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Now unlike squares where we used to form the pair of the prime factors, here we will be forming a triplet of each of the prime factors. Okay, if all the factors come in triplets, then that particular number will be a cube number, else it won't be a perfect cube number. So let us see here, we see that we are able to form a triplet of 5, it can be written as 5 cube. And this triplet of 5 can also be written as a 5 cube. So 15625 can be written as 5 cube times 5 cube, which can be written as 5 times 5 whole cube, which gives us a 25 cube. So 15625 is a cube of 25 and hence it is a perfect cube number. All the factors of 15625 are coming in triplets and yes 15625 is a perfect cube number. Let us see one more example. Is 1188 a perfect cube number? Let us try to solve this. We will again start by prime factorizing 1188. 594s are, 297s are, 27s are, 39s are, 33s are and 31s are. So we see that 1188 as the product of prime factors can be written as 2 times 2 times 11 times 3 times 3 times 3. Okay and now look at each of the prime factors. The prime factor 2 does it come in a triplet? No. Prime factor 11 does it come in a triplet? No. Prime factor 3 does it come in a triplet? Yes. A number is a perfect cube number when all the factors come in its triplet. Since we have a missing 2 here And we have two 11s missing. Okay, and hence the given number is not a perfect cube number. So I hope this is clear to everyone. How do we determine whether a given number is a perfect cube number? By prime factorizing and seeing whether all the factors are occurring as triplets. If not, then it's not a perfect cube number. In our next video, we will see how do we determine the smallest number that needs to be multiplied or divided to make the given number a perfect cube number. Okay. If you have any doubts regarding this video, you can send me an email at kirti.mathacademy at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel, Math Academy. If you have liked my videos, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.